Tilden L. Colton from the city of Zion Deliverance Tabernacle right here in the beautiful city of Newland, Georgia. And you're watching us on the On Point Network. We're so thankful, amen, that you and your family have chosen to take a few moments out to hear a word from the Lord. We want to invite you to come on into our service, amen, and get your miracle. Mark 9 and 23 says, if thou can believe, all things are possible to them that believe. May the Lord bless you on this morning. Hallelujah. Let's begin with Proverbs, the sixth chapter. Amen. Beginning at the 16th verse and reading up into the 19th verse. Amen. As you read along in unison, amen, from here at your seat, amen, from, from your home, from your car, wherever you may be. Hallelujah. Let's read along in unison on this morning. Proverbs, the sixth chapter. These six things that the Lord hate, yea, seven are abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth this Lord from my brother. Amen. First Chronicles chapter 4. Amen. Beginning at verse 10 and reading its entirety. Amen. The word of the Lord says, And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, O that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Amen. Come on and put your hands together again. And we receive the voice of the God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
Stay.
Hallelujah. Just have to. I'm going to ask everybody to stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Everybody all over this building. If you got two legs, we're asking you to stand. And we prepare to for the entrance of our honorary on today. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, I want you to put your hands together. Put your hands together for none other than the apostle. Children out folks. Hallelujah. Come on, put it together. Hallelujah. I really appreciate you now, bro. I was
God, amen. At this time, we're going to receive Co-Pastor Tally, amen, as she comes to give us the introduction of our speaker. Amen. Let's put our hands together. somebody else. Amen. And, and, and as I began to follow somebody else, they led me, amen, to a service. Amen. I'm by way of the grains, amen, at that time. Amen. I don't want no one to get anything amen. constricted or misconstrued. Amen. I was a member of uh, St. Paul in the grains. Amen. And I was following uh, the great amen of uh, uh, I can't even think of her name. But I, 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 I had fellowship with him so long, amen. Pastor James, amen. Amen. Um, and he had two churches, one in the branch, one up here in Newman. Amen. And at that time, amen, I was going. I knew that I had to get in God. I knew I had to see God. And I began to go over to the church here in Newman. Not knowing, I, began, I, I had a prayer life, didn't always use it. Amen. Didn't always use the prayer life that I had. Amen. And I began to 
cried out to God and how we was led to go to Felton James, Pastor Felton James Church over up here in Newton. And uh, lo and behold, I seen a man yeah. preaching. Yeah. It wasn't the Honorable Pastor James, amen. It wasn't him, amen. But I was introduced to something that I'd never seen before. Yeah. I was introduced to, amen, a spirit and an energy. Amen, like none other, amen. And it moved me to follow him, amen. And as I followed him, amen, I, I would always ask him, why you never pray for me? Why you never pray for me? Amen. And he told me, he said, God done showed me. Amen. Amen. You're going to be all right because whatever you done, we ain't got to worry about you doing that no more, amen. And, and, and so with that, amen, he never looked down. On not just me, but I've seen many people. Amen. amen. Do things. Amen. Witness things. And I never heard the man of God, amen, talk down, look down, amen. or leave anybody. So with that being said, see the time. You got to understand the jewel and the pearl that you have. You got to understand the jewel and the pearl that you have in the man of God, amen. Someone who labors. Not just when you ask him to, but he labors on your behalf, amen, even when you don't even ask him, amen. So come on and let's give him another, amen, a hand clap of praise, amen, for all the work that he's putting in, known and unknown, amen, known and unknown, amen, 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 and I will be remiss, amen, by recognizing, amen, everyone else, amen, but the young lady, amen, that introduced me. Amen. Um, I met her. Amen. And didn't really realize what I had. Um, and, and, and I thank God for it because I, she found me in a place. Amen. Of duress. Amen. And, and how many of you know that sometimes when you're out of your mind. Amen. And uh, somewhat disoriented. Amen. Amen. God, that sometimes. I think I read it over into the book of in Genesis the, chapter 50. Amen. Sometimes what the enemy meant for your bad, yeah. God would take it. Yeah. Amen. And, 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 and sometimes the enemy comes in most of the time. He comes in when you are disoriented. Yeah. Amen. Out of your mind. And, 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 and But I thank God, amen, that I still had some praying people. Yeah. Amen. That, that prayed for me yeah. inside. Amen. amen. Because I, I thank God, amen. Many of you may not know again. I'm not trying to make it be about me and the apostle. Sure. But oftentimes, a lot of you didn't see me, but I always still felt him praying for me. Yeah. That's why you should be an honor to him. Yeah. Because of his, if it's 47, 50, amen, 60, amen. How about just because, just blessing him sometimes. to celebrate the man of God, amen, because he labels, amen, insight and out of sight, amen, amen, and, I, and I, as I begin to, amen, work my way back up to the city of Zion, amen, uh, i never forget, amen, uh, up and out of the blue, the man of God called me, and he said, oh, I got a, I need something, can you pick up for me? And when I, I told him, yes, sir, I picked it up and we met and seen him in a long time. And seen him, and but we talked. Oh, I, and, and, he, and he asked me, he said, how is life going? I said, well, I said, well, Pastor, I got remarried. He bust out laughing. I'll never forget it. He bust out laughing, amen. He said, but did it kill you? I said, no, sir. He said, well, you didn't come let me lay eyes. Not on me. He said, but I need to lay eyes on her and make sure this the right one, amen. Amen, amen. And so, and so amen, and we, we, he was down in blackjack at the time, amen. And, and I'll never forget, amen. I, I've always had sit up down in my heart. Amen. People would always come ask me in the barbershop, who or where you go to church and who's your leader. I still referred to him as my pastor, my cousin. Amen. Although I was out of sight, amen, but he still is my, amen, my daddy, my, my, my spiritual leader. And so I would send people this way. 
And um, I told her, I said, hey, we need to go down to such and such place. She said, I don't know about all that. I said, go. <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to say Since she introduced me and told all my bed for me to tell all her why I'm introducing her. <laughs> hey, man, because she used to, she didn't believe. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, man, she didn't believe. Not that she's not a believer, but oftentimes she would call me. I said, I've been in church. Man, ain't nobody going to turn that <laughs> I'm still introducing my wife, so I, you know, that's what I want to talk about. And so she said, oh, ain't nobody in church that long. I said, okay. So we go down to Blackjack. And uh, we came in. And church was going on at this time. Church started about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. I think it was 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock. And uh, I looked at my watch. She up, she up, she don't know what's going on. She get quiet. Look at my watch again. Okay. Five thirty. That's <laughs> <laughs> just I used those. I said, what time is it? What? Gats. 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 See, because oftentimes, hey, amen. We come to church. Yeah. We come to church, and truth be told, many of us come, amen, and I know this is Apostle's birthday. As a matter of fact, it was my birthday two weeks ago, amen. Right. Amen. So, so, so we know that we celebrate, amen, but, but I know this is October. In October, amen, the world celebrates Halloween, and don't you understand that oftentimes church is the only place Halloween Exist because we oftentimes wear the mask when we come here. We put a mask on. We want God to heal us, but we don't want to move. We want God to deliver us, but we don't want God. We don't want to come in prayer time. It's called we sin. Amen. And we, 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 but God is, a, he's a good God. He's a just God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. But we, sometimes we just realize God just wants us to be real. Amen. Amen. God ain't going to put no more on you. You can bear. He ain't going to do no more for you than you ask. Amen. amen. Than you ask. So with that being said, amen. Amen. Let's jump. Amen. Amen. Again, I introduce my wife. Amen. Uh, said let's go I won't prolong the time because we're here Amen. for a celebration and so before we celebrate we gotta have something to celebrate yeah. for yeah. Amen so if you don't mind can you turn to the book of Psalms yeah. Amen the third chapter yeah. right. Amen the book of Psalms Amen and I thank Amen Deacon Scott Amen for traveling with me today Amen 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 she's made her way here Amen so just won't let me go by myself, and I thank God for that. Amen. 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 To the Colton family, amen. I feel like I grew up with them, amen. I'm older than them, but I'm their brothers and sisters as well, amen. Amen. Raw Cadiz and Ansley, amen. I thank God for them, amen. Again, to the book, the book of Psalms, the third chapter. Amen. And we'll read verses 1, 2. And six for your reading. Amen. Verses one, two, and go down to verse six. Amen. I tried, amen, to find something, amen, that was could be symbolic to what the apostle have shown me as far as lifestyle. As far as lifestyle, amen. Amen. The book of Psalms, the third chapter. And it reads like this. I'm coming out of the King James Version. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him 
in God. Skip down to verse 6. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Amen. Amen. You may be seated at this time. Amen. If we're to take from this text this morning, amen, it's simply, I got a lot going on. I got a lot going on. Amen. 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 And, 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 and I'm pretty sure all of us, amen, can attest to that. Amen. But but this particular since we're celebrating, amen, the birthday boy, amen. And I wanted to especially, especially since, amen, under him and under his tutelage, amen, he's applied the pressure to have God exalt me up, amen, yeah. into this pastorhood. Amen. I began, amen, as a armor bearer. No, as a matter of fact, I began as a follower. Amen. Then I got uh, upgraded to a armor bearer. Amen. And the apostle preached, prayed, preached, prayed, preached, prayed. Amen. And then the elevation came. Amen. I began to go under pastorship. Amen. And so, and so all of us, amen, I understand. God allowed me, amen, to understand some of the things that the apostle and his family go through. Amen. So not to say, amen, that this message isn't for the house, but I come to encourage the man of God, the woman of God. Amen. Because sometimes we just have a lot going on. Amen. Amen. Now I want you to understand, my brothers and sisters, that in this particular book of Psalms, amen, first of all, we must understand that it is a powerful powerful and prolific book. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. This particular passage here, amen, in the book of Psalms, amen, the book of Psalms, amen, first of all, I need you to understand in my studies, I found out that, amen, out of 150 Psalms, amen, amen, studies so that that, that there are seasons, three seasons mm -hmm. that the book of Psalms can be broken down into, amen. I don't know if you understand, amen, but God has blessed David and other uh, uh, writers, amen, to, to write things down yeah. that we could relate to in this book of Psalms, amen. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that, that the book of Psalms is broken down not only into three seasons, amen, but three, amen, components, amen. First okay. component is orientation, amen. Okay. Okay. And then second component is this orientation. And the third component, amen, is reorientation. Amen. And I know you're probably looking at me trying to figure out what, what, what is he talking about. But, but but if you understand orientation, amen, that's when God looks like God. Amen. You love, amen, the person you married, you like the person you're dating. Amen. The dog is barking, the cat is meowing, the birds are flying. Bees all around you, amen. That means when everything is serene, everything is tranquil, everything is basically in order. That's orientation. That's the honeymoon stage. That's the beginning stage. But, 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 but then sometimes there comes a season in your life, amen, when things become disorientated. What do you mean, God? Don't look like God, amen. How is it that your reality don't line up with God resume. Let me say that one more again. When your reality don't line up with God resume. Understanding God is not going to change. Amen. God is not going to change. But sometimes we get out of his will. Amen. We begin to do things as we want to do. Amen. Amen. We become disoriented. Amen. What do you mean? What does disoriented mean? When, 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 when God, amen, don't look like God. Amen. Not only does he don't look like God, but the reality says, amen, that he is a healer, amen, but God is not healing, amen, there's someone in your family that's dying of cancer, amen, they say he's a way maker, but somehow you feel stuck in what you're going through, they say he's a provider, but when I'm signing up, your bank account is getting lower and lower and lower, that's when things become disorganized. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, amen. And I know the apostle, amen. He breathes dogs, amen. And and, and, and sometimes the dogs sometimes begin sounding like they're meowing. And the cat begins to bark, amen. Children are acting up, amen. Amen. Sometimes you can turn over for those you married people. Amen. You can lay over in the bed and ask, What have I married? Amen. When things 
Oh, this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Things. Oh, this. Yes, sir. Oriented, but 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 my my my. Yes, sir. If you just hang on in there, yes, if you just hang, amen. If I can find it out, amen, amen. There will be a season, amen. A season in your life when things began to get reoriented, amen. Amen. When things began to get reoriented, amen. And, and, and I got, amen. Reoriented means, amen. When things sometimes we have to slow down. We have to slow down and allow God to be God. Sometimes we'll get placed in predicament. Sometimes we put ourselves in predicament. But most of the time, God is still working for your good. Amen. If you just hang on in there, amen, because you'll appreciate the reorient the disorientation moments in your life, those seasons, because oftentimes in your disorientation, you'll find out. That it's some things you didn't know about in your orientation stage. Yes, what do you mean? What do you mean? Sometimes, first lady, we have to get reacquainted. Amen. We have to get reacquainted. Reorientation. And so if you have never gone through nothing, how can you amen, appreciate amen, the orientation? The beginning stage. And so, so I find myself scratching my head. No I'm like, okay. Okay, how is it that we can get out of the way? Amen. And allow God to reorientate things for us, first of all. Amen. Amen. I got three, amen, uh, 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 points that I want to share with you. Amen. And we'll get out of the way. We'll give you something to celebrate. Not just celebrate, but you'll be able to celebrate the man of God, a little bit better. Amen. Because these are things that he's shown me over the years, over the years, amen, and I applied them to my everyday life, amen. I applied them, amen, and oftentimes they don't move when I want them to move, but God is still moving, amen. amen. God is never, amen, on, I'm not on, God is not on my time, amen, I'm on his time, amen. amen. And so, and so, <laughs> amen, 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 amen. And so, and so, and so, and so, three things, amen. That I want, I want to share with you guys. Three points I want to make, and we can start celebrating. We can start celebrating. I promise you, amen, amen, amen. The Bible says, amen. David said he's the author. He said, Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Yeah. Men are they that rise up against me? He said, many are there. Be which say of my soul that there's no help for him in God. Then he said, I will not be afraid of 10,000 tongues, 10,000 of people that have set themselves against me round about me. Three points. Three points. Amen. If you want to ever understand and know how to manage yourself, amen, when you got a lot going on, first of all, you must understand your reality. Understand your reality. Yes, sir. You must understand your reality. What do you mean, preacher? Amen. Oftentimes, as I first stated earlier, amen, we come to church with the mask on. Some of us come to church hurting. Some of us come to church, amen, needing deliverance. Some of us come to church needing a healing. Amen. But it's strange and sad that we are so worried about who's sitting next to us instead of who's standing in front of us. Amen. And so here, amen, the reality is we all come to church because we have something we're dealing with. Amen. Whether it's in your mind, whether it's in your body, amen, or whether it's in your family, amen, finances, amen. We are all dealing with something, but you have to be 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yourself. And that's what I like about David here. Amen. David, amen. He came. He was real. Amen. And if you look at it, he said, Lord, how are they that increased that trouble me? Now, now, first of all, we have to understand the content before we can appreciate this full text. Amen. You need to go back. Amen. And I encourage you. Amen. Pastor Colton gonna help me birth out so much. Amen. And, and, and you mind if I give a little 
a little uh, advertising. <laughs> amen. For those of y'all, amen, excuse me, for those of y'all that don't understand, Pastor Colton birthed over 10 years ago me a radio station. Amen. 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 And, 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 and so, with that being said, I always tell them, don't listen to me. Get your Bible. Bring it along with me. Amen. Amen. So I want to encourage you this morning. Amen. Amen. To get your Bible. Read chapter 7. Verses, I mean, chapter 15 through 18. And you'll find out that David was dealing with something. He had a life going on here. He had a lot going on. Amen. He had a son. Amen. By way of name of Absalom. That's his name. Amen. And Absalom just couldn't wait. Amen. To David. Amen. Turn the keys over to him. He couldn't wait till he placed, amen, amen, the hands all over the kingdom over to him. He gathered friends and foes, amen, people David have helped, amen, to turn their back on him, amen, to come up to defeat him. So, so David has a lot going on. And I don't know about you this morning, but I've been there, amen. If you were to be real with yourselves, amen, when things, you feel like the world is coming against you, amen, and, and things are not going in order. I, I, if it's not been the church, it's been your job. If it's not been the job, it's been your family, it's been your finances, amen. I can tell everybody this morning, all of us has the same phrase. We can all say that we got a lot going on. We got a lot going on. Got a lot going on. You don't never know what a person is going through. You don't know what a person is holding together. Amen. That's why, amen, Sister Carter, when I see you praise, I rather for praise because I don't know your story. I love to see someone that just cares less and they're going to be 100 when they come to the church of God. Amen. Because if you can't be real with God, God is surely not going to be real with you. Amen. And I find out, I'm finding out here, David was 100. Yes, he was. He didn't go to social media nope. to vent. He didn't go to Instagram yeah. to tell his problems. Yeah. He didn't go to Facebook, yeah. and then to let somebody know how he felt. He said, Lord, how are they yes, that trouble me, yeah. that rising up against yeah. me? He said, many yeah. are they that be with uh -huh. to have my soul. Yeah. And you got to understand something here. And then when you Admit your reality. You gotta understand. You have to come to the conclusion of yes, I've done wrong. Yes. Maybe I've caused the issue Amen. that placed me here. Amen. And then you gotta deal Amen. with your reality. And once you deal with your reality, you, Amen. God will give you reassurance. Yes, you There's reassurance. There's reassurance. How is it, preacher, that you said there's reassurance? Amen. There it is. In verse 2. And then at the end of verse 2, you see a five letter word. It says, Say lie. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Means stop. Pause. Yes, Think about it. Yes, Say lie. Yes, sir. Stop. Yes, sir. Pause. Yes, sir. Think about it. Yes, sir. I'll repeat it again. Yes, Say lie. Yes, stop. Pause. Yes, Think about it. My God. My God. Amen. Because. What David understood, and what we need to understand as the household of faith and believers, is that sometimes, Amen, you need to get you need to get by yourself, yeah. with yourself, yeah. and really just quiet yourself. Yeah. You'll hear God. Yeah. You'll hear God. Yes, you will. You'll hear God. Yes, you will. You'll hear God. Yes. Amen. Because many times, Amen, and again. I test, I've been warned that I've seen the man of God. Amen. I, I approached him one time and, I, and I'm thinking, amen, that I'm good. I'm good enough to talk to him. Amen. Amen. Not that I didn't have any respect for him. Amen. But he taught me something. This is a sailor moment. But I said, Pastor, such such doing this, such such doing that. He said, uh-uh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop. Pause. Think about it. Mm -hmm. I, took, man, I, I, I took the correction. But the revelation came. 
when you don't put your mouth because, because the Bible tells us that there's power in the tongue and how you use your tongue affects what's about to happen amen. down the road. Yes, As a matter of fact, we're living in a day and time to where it's not down the road no more. Oh, Amen. Amen. It can happen in a few seconds. Amen. It can happen in a few seconds. Yeah. And, so, and so in that same like moment, Amen, because what happened, the apostle, Amen, taught me Amen, how to, how to change the perspective oh, on the situation. Oh, and David did it right here in the book of Psalms, the third chapter. He did it. He did it. And, and see, once I realized, and that's what David did, David took his mind off of who was doing something to him. And he began to realize who was doing something for him. David stopped worrying about who was liking him. He thought about who was loving him. He thought about, amen, he wasn't worried about Amen. Who was doing something to him? Amen. Because he realized that all things work together for them that love the Lord. David understood that in that Selah moment. So I'm here to tell you, sometimes you have to go into a Selah moment. You have to stop pause. Think about it. And, and even for the young kids. I've been young before. I've been young before. And then I'm still young. Me and Pastor, we're still young. We're still young. You know what I'm saying? We're still young. Amen. And so, and so, and so, sometimes as children, uh -huh. yeah. we rush Come on, to yeah. get over. Amen. You better stop. Think about it. Yes, sir. Because I've been there. I can't wait to get out of this house. Oh, you better stop. Think about it. I know your mama crazy. You better stop. Pause. Think about it. My dad made me sick. You better stop. Pause. Think about it. Let's stop and pause and think about it. Because the very ones that are making you sick are the very ones that keep the roof over your head. The very ones that are making you sick are the very ones that are God is allowed to put food on your table. Stop. Pause. Think about it. Stop. Pause. Think about it. And then, and, 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 and then what, what gets me? Amen. Again, I know I told you I was going to give you three points. Amen. Amen. And there's reassurance. Reassurance is the second one. Amen. And then it's right there. Amen. If you go back, amen, in your in, in your studies, but I'm going to help us right now. Amen. Go back in your studies and you'll see verse three. I know I didn't read it. I, I didn't read it for a reason. Amen. Because I wanted to give you your reassurance that you need it. What do you mean reassurance? Because when you change your perspective after that Selah moment. Yes, on, when you change your perspective about what's going on around you, amen, you begin to place your mind and thoughts, oh man, amen, on the person, amen, that only, that only, and I say only, that it should be placed upon, because the Bible says place your mind, the mind is stayed upon the Lord is that perfect <laughs> peace. Amen. So in the midst of all that's going on, yeah. Yeah. David understood. Yeah. Yeah. Because he said, and all this going on, look, if you still got your Bibles on, amen, verse 3 said, but thou, O Lord, art my shield, art shield for me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. He said, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. But thou, O Lord, a shield for me, the lifter of my head and my glory. You ain't no me to move, I'm waiting on you to get it. But thou, O oh Lord, see, when you stop worrying about what's going on around you, amen, and start giving God the glory and start lifting God up, amen, your perspective will change. And then things will change. We're so worried about who's doing what and when they're doing it instead of worrying about who's in control. A shield for me. Now understand. Understand. Amen. I, we, we know the scripture that says no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. But understand, David knew that some things 
are still coming. Yes, but just because it comes, yeah. sickness, it don't mean it's to death. It ain't going to kill you. It's not going to kill you. Amen, amen. He's still a shield for you. Amen. Although it may hit you, it won't kill you. Amen. And so many times, amen, we forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing this and they're doing that to me. But thou, O oh Lord, is a shield for me. He's a shield. Amen for me. My glory. And the lifter of my hand. You gotta understand something here. Amen. Understand when he said my glory. Amen. Because when we are disoriented, amen, sometimes we begin to do things that we are not accustomed to. We do things that's out of character. Amen. And once we do that, amen, amen, we become shameful. We we'll get depressed. Amen. How, what do you mean? What do you mean? Many of us in our disoriented stage, you used to be a giver. Amen. You used to give and so quite good. Amen. But, 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 but now since I dropped my head, now since I've gone through what I've gone through, now, amen, that this happened to me. Amen. And, and people know about my shame. People know about what I'm going through. Now, I got to somewhere. Fall out of people's I love God, but I just can't go to church today. Disorientation. I, 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 I love God, but I did something. I had no business doing I love God, but I just don't want to deal with it today. I don't want to hear no preacher. I don't want to hear, amen, no people coming up to me telling me how good God been, how good God is, because I ain't that right now. Disorientated state. But, 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 but when you look at verse 3, you soon find out, amen, that my glory, since he's my glory, God is going to restore your honor. Your He'll restore your honor. What do you mean, amen? There was time that you didn't give. And then God will restore you so you can give. There was a time you loved going to church. Amen. But then, amen, you stopped going. Amen. God will restore your honor. Amen. And he placed you into a ministry. Yes. Just like the apostle. Just like the city of Zion. But they don't look at what you've gone through. They just glad to see the moon. Some of us are super duper holy. We read Genesis for breakfast and read Revelation for dinner. Some of us are just super saying, so everybody ain't went through nothing. Everybody may not have been going through nothing, but I just want to talk to the ones that have gone through something that can appreciate that disoriented state. That's why we come to give the message to the house today. Amen. About, amen. Being, amen. We got a lot going on. We 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 all can attest, amen, to having a lot going on. Look at what's happened yes. just in this year. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. But I still, Preach. amen, would look to the hills. Amen. Because when I 
watch as he lifts my head. Yeah. That's what he said in, in, in verse 3. Yeah. He said, David acknowledged him as the lifter of my head. Yeah. And so since he's going to lift my head, I will look to the hills. Yeah. And which come is my help. And now I'm so glad that my help doesn't come from the government. I'm so glad that my help don't come from the supervisor. I'm so glad that my help, I love my wife, but my help don't come from my help comes from the Lord. Amen. I'm so glad. And I know I gave you, amen, three, amen, points that I was going to make, amen. Amen. And then my third point, amen, bro, Eric, if you will, amen, go to, amen, you don't have to play it, but I want to encourage y'all. Amen. To go back and look at what I'm going to show you. Amen. Please. Amen. This morning when I woke up, I didn't understand. Amen. It looked crazy to y'all. Amen. Amen. Take a good look. Amen. Oh, right, yeah. My wife reminded me, Apostle. Amen. She reminded me. Amen. She didn't even realize she was helping me go preach this one. She reminded me. He cat was walking. You got to play it. Don't let, make, make them go back and look at it. Give them some homework to do. Everybody don't go out to church and you know what church is. Don't play it. I just want to get an illustration. Amen. Because one day I was watching the apostle. Amen. This is when school was out. He was anticipating school going in. Amen. He had to teach Kyle. Caleb had to teach his daughter. Jayla. 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 I'm sorry. Jayla. Amen. And I seen him, amen, <laughs> using that tablet. He kind of got a little frustrated. He told me, get out of the yard and play tied out. Anyway, anyway, I, I watch it. I don't know about y'all, but I keep up with it, amen. Amen. And so, and so this for me, um, in my closing, my third point, for those of y'all who don't know, I've been barbering in the same spot for, for 20 years. Amen. And so, and so, and, and, and few of y'all know me personally. Amen. So, so hey, she understand. Hey, amen. She get on me all the time about this little man to be in my head. When I just don't agree with it. Amen. But but but, but I, I I didn't just pick it up from the barbershop. I picked it up. Amen. From some apostle. Once again. Amen. He may not say nothing, but I, 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 I'm going to observe. Amen. 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 I see you. The little man I'm talking about here. When he sprints up. You, you might want to pump your brakes. Amen. Amen. And thank God he's saved. Amen. 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 When that thing right there come up, it won't be on to you. But anyway, in this barbershop, I'm real personal about my phone. And then one particular day, amen, just a woman came in with a child about three years old. And he's bad. And I, got, I, got, I got a bad habit of possible. But I see how they run around. When they get in that chair, they have to be still. That's a problem. Yeah, so. I seen this nigga. He just running around. She ain't making him do that. So she get in the, she get him in my chair. He already, he already moved. And he said, she said, can I use your phone? Can you use my phone. No, no. He ain't gonna be still and let he watch your phone. I don't know. You got a phone. My phone day. I got it. I got it. Cut him. You gonna this little kid gonna hold my phone. He he need to watch some. He need to watch some. Now 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 in the midst of this, I'm not knowing what's going on. Now pick this up. I, I encourage all of you. Bro, Eric, bro, D, y'all better watch it. Amen. Watch it. Because I picked this up, what they call the intangibles. Oh. The Bible teaches you certain things, oh. but being around him teaches Amen. you another. Amen. Amen. You'll know his dominion, you'll know his temples. And so, and so I picked this up as an armor bearer, how, how revelation will come if you just open yourself up. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm mad. You want me to let this boy use my phone? You my phone. I said, okay. So then, I'm thinking he's going to run around. I said, man, here we go, here we go. Look boy, I got, got my phone. He, he already squirmed. I'm like, man, here go my phone. She said, put in Pete the cat. <laughs> but the little boy kept hollering, Pete the cat. But watch how the apostle rises up. Okay. Put in the Peter Cat. Then the music starts playing.
place. Then the cat go to sing it. The cat goes, I love my white shoes. 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 <laughs> Maybe still, I'm cutting hell. Then so the narrator comes on. He said, this is Pete the Cat, and he loves his white shoes. Pete the Cat began to walk one day. Then the music started up again. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Then he said, Ram! <laughs> Pete stepped into a pile of strawberries. <laughs> yeah. And so the narrator said, he was talking to some kids. He said, Did Pete get mad? No. They said, No. Pete just kept on walking. Amen. I love my red shoes. <laughs> I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Right. He walked. Uh-huh. Now he stepped into a blueberry patch. Mm -hmm. Now I'm ready to say, Pete stepped into a blueberry patch. He said, Did Pete get mad? The kids said, No. <laughs> Pete kept walking. I love my red, my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. <laughs> Pete kept walking. So then, Pete keeps walking and Pete steps into some other. Oh, no. Pete said, The kid ain't he quiet. She got on saying the kid is quiet. By this time, the apostle somehow always wanted. I always say I was have to take something from it. Hey, Amen. And so, and so I'm beginning to pay attention. Because the kid, he was quiet. I'm looking at he got me. I'm watching the him. I'm watching what I'm doing. I'm fading and I'm looking at this thing. Amen. It's they said Pete stepped into some red shit, some some some, some mother. And then everybody said, did Pete get mad? The kids say, no. Pete kept walking. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Yes, sir. So then it began to rain. And Pete kept walking. Come on now. And when Pete got to back to his place, Pete stepped into some water. What you say? Did Pete get mad? No. So no. Pete kept walking. Now watch this song. Pete, the, the song went from red. Blue to brown. Stepped into a water puddle. Pete on. I love my white shoes. 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 Love my white shoes. Then the narrator go back. Pete the cat in his white shoes. I had to put it up there. I want y'all to go back and watch. The narrator said, the moral of the story. Yes, sir. Regardless of what's going on around you. Yes, sir. What's going on with you. Yes, sir. Keep moving. Yes, sir. Keep moving. You got to keep moving in spite of a lot going on. And I'm sitting up here like, you where in the world? See, that message was even for the kid. The message was for me. And then, I'm, I'm, I'm denouncing that this little kid. Use, amen, my phone, but the revelation, amen, by yes, opening sir. myself up, bro, yes, 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 to allow anybody yes, to teach us. Yes, I learned from Pete the Cat. Come on now. Whatever you do, and I heard the man of God say it this morning. He said, you got to keep moving. Yes, you got to keep moving. Yes, keep pushing yes, in spite of what's going on around you. In spite of what you're dealing with. You got to keep moving. Shoes get muddy. They still shoes. You can still keep moving. Might not be the color that you want them to be, but you still got shoes on. So, with that being said, sit up, Zion. My, my, my. The Apostle Coles. I pray.
Hallelujah. We've said something this morning. Hallelujah. Not only to bless the man and woman of God, yeah. but to bless, amen, the city of Zion. Heavenly right Father, to the God. We come before you right now. We came as you sought out, did what you told us to do. Now, Lord, we pray and ask that these words that was given not only fall, but fall on, on ground that can be, amen, displayed through this outside down world, that you are still a living God, amen, that you're still a saving God, a delivering God, and most of all, a healing God. Lord, we thank you that in spite of what we have going on around us, you're still God, because you are the lifter of all our heads. Lord, we thank you right now for being a shield for us. Lord, we thank you right now for your glory restoring our honor, Lord, even when we didn't feel like it. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in the lives of these people, Lord. Now, we honor the man in, the man of God right now. Lord, he's poured out so many times to so many people. But Lord, we thank you for he kept it going. He kept it moving, Lord, in spite of what bodily affliction he may have had. Lord, you healed him. Lord, you took care of him. We know that you're a way maker. You'll make a way out of no way, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for restoring him, Lord, as he poured out to many of us, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the virtue that you placed in him to keep going on. Lord, we pray right now, Lord, that if there be some that need to be healed, delivered, and set free, that's a word. Do it, Lord. Lord, we thank you right now, Lord, for his mother and his father. Lord, we thank you for his brothers and his sisters. We thank you for his family. We thank you for his children, Lord. We thank you for their children. Lord, we ask right now as you continue to place a hedge of protection around not only him but them, Lord. Lord, move in a miraculous manner like only you can do. Touch how only you can touch. Lord, we know you're able to deliver, Lord, because he's still here. In spite of the 10,000 that has already came up upon him. Standing, Lord. He's still standing strong, stronger than ever before, Lord. Continue, Lord, to build the city of Zion up, Lord. In a special manner, Lord. They hold a special place in my heart. And Lord, I ask and pray that each one, each disciple, Lord, continues to grow closer together in your love. Help build up the city. Help build up the man of God. Help lift him up, Lord. When he's able to send some errands, Lord, send some when his arm is weak, Lord, that song be standing beside him to keep his arm standing up so that the victory will come. Lord, we thank you right now, Lord, because we do have the victory. We do have the victory, Lord. We claim it and decree it right here, right now, in spite of what's going on around us. Give us strength, wisdom, and knowledge, Lord, to have the Selah moments that we need to always change the perspective on how we look at things. Yes, Lord. He's been a great example to us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just as Jesus was the example to the world, yes, he's been the example to us. Yes, Just keep it moving. Yes, These are the blessings we ask in your son, Jesus' name. Yes, Come on, let's give God a hand. Clap. We'll praise the Lord. The Lord has indeed blessed our souls on today. And you know what? I'm praying that the same miracle that we received here at the city of Zion, that you received it today. Thank you so much for tuning in, amen, to the City of Zion Deliverance Tabernacle, amen, on the On Point Network. And we want you to join us, amen, every Sunday at 6.30 for a life-changing experience. And I want to pray with you today that the Lord will bless you and keep you until we meet again. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for those that have viewed by way of television. We pray that you will strengthen and bless every family. We pray that you will minister to every need. And Father, those that are not saved, we pray today that they will invite you into their lives as their Lord and Savior. And Father, we thank you that all is well in every area of our life. And for the rest of our life, we will seek to please you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this has been yours truly, Apostle Tilda L. Colton, the Whole Point Network. The Lord bless you.